Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can print your WooCommerce orders automatically using our Printerco order printing system. To get started, you need to register an account with us and add a printer to your account. Once that's done, the printer will appear in your printer list. We already have separate videos on how to register and how to add a printer to your dashboard, so if you haven't done that yet, please check those videos first. They're quick and easy to follow. Now let's jump directly into a WooCommerce website. This is a demo site we'll be using to show how to install our plugin, connect it to your printer, and print different types of orders, pickup, delivery, dine-in, and even reservations. Step one, installing the Printerco plugin for WooCommerce. Let's begin. Go to plugins, then click add new. Search for Printerco. Here's the plugin, click install, then activate. Step two, Fill in plugin settings carefully. Once activated, go to WooCommerce, then Settings, and click the Integration tab. Here you'll see Printerco API integration. Click on it. Now it's time to enter the necessary information from your Printerco dashboard. This step is crucial. You need to enter everything correctly or the connection won't work. Go to your Printerco dashboard. I'll be using printer ID 9081 for this demo. Click view on your printer. You'll see the API key, API password, license key, and printer ID. Copy and paste each one into the appropriate field in the plugin settings. Important note about the license key. If you're on a free trial, you can generate a test license key. But for ongoing use, you'll need to purchase a permanent plugin license. Once you do, it will be available in your account for use with your subscription. Next, fill in the receipt header and footer. This is very important. The header can be your restaurant name or business name. It will show on the top of the printed receipt. The footer might say something like, thank you, and will appear at the bottom. Now set your prepaid payment options. Only select prepaid methods like credit card, PayPal, or mobile payment here. Do not select cash on delivery, that should remain unselected. This will ensure the receipt correctly shows whether the order is paid or unpaid. Next, set the delivery options. Only select actual delivery methods. Do not select pickup here, or your pickup orders will be marked incorrectly as delivery. Once everything is filled in, click Save Changes. Step 3. Connect your terminal. So the next step is to connect your terminal with your account. I'm using a Sunmi V2 terminal here. First, install the Printerco app from the Google Play Store. Open the Play Store, then search for Printerco. Tap Install. Once installed, open the app. Grant necessary permissions and tap back. Now it will ask for your printer ID and password. Step 4. Log in to the terminal app. Enter your printer ID, mine is 9081, and password. Once logged in, the device will appear as connected in your Printerco dashboard. You're now ready to start placing test orders from your WooCommerce website. Step 5. Creating test orders on WooCommerce. Let's create some test orders. First, pick up order. I select my item, standard cheese with mushroom and pepper. I add a note, no onion. Set pick up time as soon as possible and place the order with cash on delivery. In the dashboard, the order appears. It's also sent to the terminal printer. I accept the order and set a preparation time. The printed receipt shows collection order, customer name, item details, special notes, status, not paid because it's cash on delivery, header and footer messages from earlier. Let's test now a delivery order. I enter a valid postcode 
and add an item. I also include a note, please knock at the door gently. Payment method is a card. I place the order. In the dashboard, I see the order. I accept it and set a delivery time. This is a good time to mention that accepting or rejecting orders manually is required unless automation is enabled. On the receipt, delivery order, customer's name, address, contact, time requested, special note, paid status. Let's test now a dine-in order. Now let's simulate a dine-in order, like a customer scanning a QR code. I select an item, enter table number 20, and choose cash on delivery. The order appears in the dashboard and terminal. The printed receipt shows it's a dine-in order with the correct table number. Uh, finally, let's test a reservation order. Let's book a table for tomorrow at 5 p.m. Enter the name and submit the reservation. It appears in the dashboard and prints out with reservation ID, time, name, phone number, party size. Here we go. Now, want everything fully automated? Go to printer settings. Enable auto print, auto accept, and don't enter a delivery time. Save settings. Now when a customer places an order, it gets accepted and printed instantly, no buttons pressed. This is true automation. Here's something powerful. From any order, you can reprint the full receipt or just the kitchen receipt, which only shows the order ID and items. Perfect for kitchen use. You'll also notice countdown timers showing how much prep time remains for each order. When ready, simply slide the order to mark it as completed or dispatched. You can also toggle your shop open closed right from the app. Let's test that. Go to the plugin settings and uncheck Allow checkout if the shop is closed. Set a message like, we are closed now. Now, close the shop using the toggle. Try to place an order on the website. You'll see the message and checkout is disabled. Open the shop again. Refresh the page and you're back in business. From your printer settings, you have full control. Choose which details appear on the receipt. Adjust font size. Rename order types, for example, collection, pickup, and much more. Thank you for watching and happy printing with Printer Co.